18 of 24 for you um, in our 3.0 series. Of course, you can always mix and match these as much as you need to and plug in where you need to, um, but today is a stretch and recover. So, AKA a little yoga in there. Um, I want you just to think of all of the muscle groups that we've worked. Now with all of these series, I'm trying to work in every muscle group. So if you feel like you really worked your shoulders this week or you really worked through the legs and they're more sore than um, other workouts or other weeks, then I want you to really focus on those stretches a little bit more, okay? So I have my yoga mat. You can use a mat, you don't have to. Just a comfortable open area free from anything that you might bump into should you lose your balance. But we should take these pretty easily. Shoulders back and down. Two more. And the important part here is just to try to ground and release. Lift and lower. Perfectly. We're going to sweep the hands up overhead. And then ride that down to your side. Inhale, and we're just going to think about slowing down our pace with everything here. Two more times, sweep up, release down. Once more, sweep up, and release down. We're going to move into the legs a little bit more, inhale, lift up. This time, we're going to reach the arms forward. I'm going to hinge or bend at the waist. I'm going to tuck my chin to look towards my feet. Bend your knees so that your chest comes onto your thighs. Press your spine toward the ceiling, separating through the shoulder blades, and round up one backbone at a time with the shoulder roll at the top. Inhale, lift. Reach forward. Tuck the chin, bend the knees, press into the feet, round up one backbone at a time, feel the legs work, activate shoulders up, back and down, two more. Breathing with your movements, bend the knees, press into the feet, round up, back and down, last time. Perfect job. Bend the knees, tuck the pelvis, and round up. Shoulders back and down. Right arm comes up, back, and around. Left arm this time. Right arm. Left arm. One more time, right side, left side. Sweep the arms up. This time, reach forward. We're going to hang in a forward fold here. Tuck your chin. I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see the length through the legs. I'm going to tuck the chin. Now, I can hold on to my thighs. I can place my hands on my shins. I can reach towards my feet or towards the floor. It just depends on how much flexibility you have here. I can also bend the elbows, tuck the chin, and just look towards the knees. So I've mentioned before, if you have issues with blood pressure, you may want to stay in more of a flat back position. Relax through the head and neck as much as you can. If you do not have issues with blood pressure, try to tuck the chin, look towards the knees, the thighs as much as you can. When we can get the head below the heart, it's more balancing to the nervous system. And we're getting a pretty good stretch through the legs. Inhale. If you have your arms in ragdoll position, release them down towards the ground, bend your knees, and round up one backbone at a time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good. I'm going to round the right arm back and around, all the way back up to top. 
Left arm back and around, all the way back up. One more time on the right. And on the left. This time, bring your arms out to the side. Swan diving forward, tucking the chin to look towards the knees. Really try to round through the back. Again, we can come into ragdoll position with the arms. I'm turning to the side. You do not need to. This way you can hear me a little bit better as well. Breathe here. Now, whether you have the arms in ragdoll position or you're reaching down towards the floor, I want you to just gently bring your chin towards each shoulder. You can keep the eyes open. You can close them. If it does not challenge your balance, closing your eyes does challenge the balance. So if it feels like you do not have support, keep the eyes open. Release the arms down towards the feet, bend the knees, and round up one backbone at a time. Shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Round back on the right side, back and around. Back stroking movement with that right arm. Now with the left. Arms come out to the side. Swan dive forward, tuck the chin to look towards the feet. This time, bend the knees. As you exhale, straighten the legs as much as you can. So I'm still folding forward. Bend the knees, straighten the legs. Two more times, we're trying to get into the calf, the hamstrings, because I know you worked both of those this week. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful, bend the knees, tuck the pelvis, this time round yourself up to stand. Shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, sweep up. Right arm comes back and around. Left arm this time, back and around. Swan dive forward, tuck the chin. Little bend in the knees, straighten through the legs, bend the knees, straighten the legs. One more time, bend the knees and straighten. Bend the knees, round up one backbone at a time, shoulders coming up, back and down. Perfect, lift the arms up. This time I'm going to cactus on the right side, reach up with the left arm, reach for the ceiling, cactus on the left side, reach up with the right arm, reach both arms up. This time right arm comes forward, back and around, left arm comes forward, back and around, fold forward one more time, hands come forward this time, bend the knees, tuck the chin. Little bend in the knees, straighten through the legs. Bend the knees, lowering the pelvis, straighten the leg. So here I back off of the stretch just a little bit and then come back into it. As I bend the knees, I stretch a little more through the quad, then I straighten up and make that quad contract through the front thigh. Here I relax a little bit through the hamstrings. And then we start to stretch out a little bit more. One more time, bend the knees. Straighten the legs. And then round up, one backbone at a time. Shoulders up, back, down. One more set of those cactus positions. Inhale, lift. Cactus right, reach up left. So notice I'm not doing a very big side bend here. Lift for the ceiling, left side comes down, right side reaches up. Lift, one more set on the right. Reach up, now the left. Reach, good, bring the arm forward, right side, back and around, left side forward, back and around. One more time, we're just trying to round through that shoulder, open it up, left side. 
release your arms down. Perfect, my friends. We're going to come down onto the floor, so have a seat. We're going to start with the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. So how close the toes come in towards you, completely up to you. Shoulders back and down. You can take a hold of the feet, you can take a hold of the shins, maybe right along the knees. But we're going to try and keep the back nice and flat. Nice big inhale. With a flat back, bend through the elbows, bring the chest forward. I'm not pulling with my hands. Hinge right back up. So we're going to do about three more of these. I want you to think of and notice the pull into the hips. As you come forward, we should feel that through the hips and the glutes. Lift right back up. Try to keep your belly engaged, locked in so the posture is nice and tall. Last two, bring it forward. Lift up. Once more, forward. And up. Perfect, so we're trying to stretch through the outer thigh as well. Lift up round through the back and the shoulders. Now I want you just to tuck your chin towards your chest, keeping the posture nice and long. So you stay right where you are. I'm just going to show you a profile. So I have a hold of the feet. My back is flat, nice and tall, and then I just tuck the chin towards the chest. I should be feeling that stretch from the base of the skull all the way down and into the neck and the shoulders. Two more breaths here. One more. Inhale and gently lift the head back to center. Perfect. Nice big inhale. This time I want you to bring the chest forward as much as you can. Hold for just a second while you still breathe and breathe into that stretch. Feel the hips start to open up. We hold a lot of stress into the hips. We don't want to hold on to that anymore, so let it go. Inhale and exhale one more time. Now notice I'm not pulling with my hands. This time, nice big inhale. As you exhale, tuck your chin, round through the back. Feel the spine start to press up toward the ceiling and relax forward. So we have hip opening going here. We have inner thigh stretching going on. The back is rounded forward, so I'm stretching through the shoulder blades, through the spine, right along the back. Breathe here. Two more breaths. One more. Tuck your chin, just a little bit more, take one more breath. You should feel that stretch from the shoulders into the base of the skull. Now inhale, lift the head, lift the chin, start to come into a flat back position. Hold here, one more teeny pause, inhale and exhale. Slowly start to lift back up little shoulder roll if you need. All right, the left leg is going to extend out in front. Right leg, knee is going to come up. Now, we're gonna add a twist in here. We're going for a twist, um, the stretch through the leg and some twists through the back, but we're not gonna force it. So the foot can stay here. If you feel like you can tolerate a little bit more, you can cross right foot over left, but notice how I didn't let my left foot come in towards my midline. I'm gonna keep it straight out to the side and I want to be able to rest the sole of my right foot down on the floor. If it starts to roll out to the side, then I need to come back here, okay? Wherever you feel most comfortable. Inhale, sit up, shoulders back and down. And by comfortable, I mean you get a stretch, but it's tolerable. One more breath here. Keep the toes on the left foot pointed straight up. I'm gonna add a small little hinge forward. So I'm bringing my chest towards my thigh, not my nose to my knee, chest toward my thigh. I'm gonna reach forward and around with my left arm 
arm and I'm just gonna hug in a little bit more. Starting to hug in more, you should feel that through the glute and the outer thigh. You can lift up through the chest a teeny bit more to get more stretch. And if you feel like you need it, I can turn my right shoulder back and around. Now you can feel this through the back as well. The majority of the stretch we're going through is through the glute and the outer thigh on the right side. You don't have to add the twist in if it's an issue with the back. Two more breaths here. Once more. Very gently start to turn back with the torso to face forward. I'm gonna take both hands onto the right knee. I'm gonna inhale, lift up nice and tall. I'm gonna hug in one more time and I'm gonna take both hands around the knee, both arms around the knee as much as you can. So how much fold you have forward just depends on how long your arms are or how much um, space is allowed between the leg and the chest. Okay. Tuck the chin. Press the spine back here and feel that stretch through the shoulder blades. So if you need to, you can just take the hands outside of the knees. One more time. Slowly start to bring the head up. Sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna uncross the leg. If you had the right leg over the left, I'm gonna extend my right leg out this time and I'm just gonna give the legs a little shake out. When you're ready, brace through the belly first and then start to draw the right knee or the left knee in towards you. You can keep it right here with the sole of the foot down. You can gently cross over the right leg as long as the sole of the left foot can stay flat the right toes stay up toward the ceiling and my right leg doesn't move in towards my midline. So it doesn't come in the middle of my body, it stays right out from the hip joint. Sit up as tall as you can and then start to just hinge forward a little bit more and you should feel it through the glute and outer thigh. If you feel it more on one side than the other, that's okay. Just means the side you feel it on more is um, a tighter side. So you can hold the stretch into that a little bit longer if you need to. Even longer than I do it if you need. Very good. We're going to take the right arm. I'm going to start to reach it around through the left. I'm going to lift up through the chest. Now that adjustment by sitting up a little bit taller definitely increases the stretch through the outer thigh and the glute. Okay. Hold here if you need. If you want a little bit more, we can start to turn the left shoulder back and around, keeping the chest lifted, nice and strong through the torso, breathing into the stretch. Again, if it's too much on the back, you don't have to add the twist in. We're really going for the glute and outer thigh stretch more than anything else. start to face forward once more. I'm going to take both hands around the left leg, sit up tall, then bring the arms in a little bit more, closer in, tighter in on the leg. So again, if your hands come into the leg, this is going to depend a lot on the flexibility of the leg. My legs out farther, that may allow me to reach forward with the arms a little bit more and hug. It may limit it. The legs in tighter to your body, it may limit how much you can hold on to the leg with the arms. So just take it where you need it. Good, one more breath up tall. Now I'm going to tuck my chin. I'm going to start to round through the back. So I'm using the arms to hold on to my leg and I'm pressing back into the shoulders. Spine towards the back wall. 
And I'm trying to breathe into that stretch. Two more breaths here, friends. One more. Head nice and tall. And release. And cross the legs. Perfect. I'm going to bring my right leg forward. My left leg's going to come behind. We're going to modify a pigeon pose here. So I'm going to try to keep my right leg parallel with the front of my mat. Left leg is coming straight out to the side. I'm going to lift up tall. And then as I exhale, I'm just going to start to come forward. Now notice my hip. It's kind of hard to see on the gray mat. But it's, uh, my knee is outside of my hip. I just flow down. And then I can inhale and come right back up. Exhale and come down. I'm going to keep my foot flexed on the right side to protect through my knee. I'm going to lift. I'm going to lower. Good. One more time. Now you can continue to flow with those movements if you need. Exhale. You can come forward and you can hold here, relaxing through the shoulders. You can bring the right elbow down. You can bring the left elbow down. Now these are options. It increases the intensity in the stretch. The foot still needs to be flexed. If that is too much, then you stay right here and support the upper body holding the stretch. Three more breaths. Continue to breathe through even that toughest point of the stretch. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself up and walk back. Good. I'm going to prop over onto my right side. I'm going to reach back towards the left foot. I'm going to grab a hold of the foot if I can. You can grab a hold of your pants. If you want to use a towel or a strap here, you can. Tuck your pelvis forward and feel the nice long stretch through the hip flexor and through the quadricep muscle. We worked those muscles with this little series of workouts this week, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, slowly release. We're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna be gentle with my body. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna respect my body and my limits. I'm not going to get frustrated with them. I'm going to respect them. Knee outside the hip. Hands come up. Now I will tell you this is always my tighter side. So I may not be able to flow forward very much. Exhale, come down. But it's important that you work within your limits. That you let go of some of the expectations that we have. Lift. Lower. You can continue to flow here. You can prop on the elbows if you need. And you're just going to breathe. You're going to let everything go. And we're going to breathe. Perfect. Perfect. Slowly bring yourself up. One last little stretch here, grabbing onto the foot tucking the pelvis forward. Now you're going to drink 24 ounces of water in the next two hours. Refresh, rejuvenate, give yourself that water. Very nice. Bring the leg forward. Nice big inhale. Releasing exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you, my friends. I will see you again very soon. Have a good day.